It's not very scenic, but I'm in the car park of Bridge North uh, in the Midlands. And uh, it's, uh, it's not very not very nice day. It was sunny, well, less than an hour ago. But it's uh, gone back to normal. Okay, uh, just going out of the car park up there. And uh, a toilet roll. <laughs> Uh, that seems to be in demand. What's that? 429 pounds. I'm just, I'm just going to follow my nose on uh, on this walk. Yep, there's the town hall, and this is the north gate. There's going to be uh, an audio problem because it's it's quite blustery today. Northgate Museum, 1646 Bridge North was captured by the parliamentary forces. The whole of the high town was destroyed. So I'm just going to follow my nose. It's just wander around the town a bit. Just see where things lead to. It is spotting. Uh, so it uh, wasn't forecast. It was forecast to be sunny. I'll go up here next. Up I'll go up this street. Now, the, I think, I'm not sure if those are genuine half-timbered buildings. Or, uh, might be just be painted. As usual, the town church is the most impressive building to be found in the town <coughs> and built out of the local sandstone. There's some information. Miserable weather in this house. So this is St. Leonard's Close, this I think that's an old an 18th century gra former grammar school there. Okay, the sun came out. Okay, uh, continue exploring. Just saw a placard, uh, plaque there. Uh, these the, uh, these were arm houses built by uh, Henry V. Partially destroyed in a bombing raid in the 1940. I don't know why they bothered to bomb Bridge North. It's maybe clearing up a little bit. Okay, uh, there's uh, the Bridge North history, 1824 to 2000, and there, Bridge North history. 895 to 1824. The Vikings winter in a camp at Quatbridge. 895. Okay, looks like the sun's come out again. There's the town hall. Okay, there's. Uh, a signpost, Seven Valley Railway, Low Town, River Seven, 
castle grounds that way to the cliff railway. Yeah, that pub apparently called the Shakespeare. Believe it to you, yeah, the Shakespeare Inn. Okay, so uh, let's see where this goes. As I say, there's going to be an audio problem because it's quite windy today, blustery. Okay, this church here, quite imposing again, but it's actually, uh, it's not used. It's uh, no longer used as an active church. That's uh, St. Leonard's Church down there. That's one I uh, walked around earlier, earlier on. That's still in use. But this one, quite imposing church. Not open. Uh, well, it's open, but not open uh, as an active church. No services. Oh, wait a minute. Well, no, am I, am I wrong? Yeah, I got it there. <laughs> it's the wrong way around. Sorry. Yeah. St. Mary Magdalene, Church of England. Services. Yeah. I just have a little there, there inside. And, uh, oh, it's nice and warm in here. Yeah, yeah it's quite look okay. Quite a good church, but I won't wander around. I'll just take this quick shot. Uh, yeah, excellent church. North is di divided into two sections: High Town and Low Town. There's the River Seven down there, and that's Low Town. Steps to Low Town and Criff uh, Railway, Castle Grounds that way. There's the uh, the old bridge that crosses the river still, and you can see the River Severn. It was uh, there were some bad floods just about a week ago. It looks like it subsided a bit, but it's still very high. And uh, over there are those uh, is a good example of the local uh, sandstone. That's a little uh, a little out a little outcrop of sandstone there. Nice rainbow there. That, that kind of indicates the weather we're having. Yeah, excellent rainbow. I'll just go inside here. The, these are the castle gardens. It, it's quite nice here, especially when the sun's shining. The spring daffodils, of course, are out. There's a little bandstand. There's the First World War, uh, uh, what do you call him, Tommy, a Tommy from the First World War, uh, the, the War Memorial. Is all that remains of the Bridge North Castle destroyed by the parliamentary forces uh, during the English Civil War? Yeah, it's leaning over quite an angle, just a fragment of the of the original castle. There's the cliff, it's going through this uh, kind of like a gate, uh, well, barrier. There's the cliff, uh, Bridge North Castle Hill, Cliff Runway. Fortunately, it's closed. Uh, so I'm, I was gonna just, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, Cliff Railway, £1.60 return, but it's closed unfortunately.
I have to walk down to Low Town. These look like a pretty ancient ancient uh, buildings here. This was the uh, the cartway I think that go went from the low town up to the high town. So uh, I'll go down here down to the river. Interesting old buildings of course. View of the uh, River Severn. It uh, looks like it's pretty close to the top of the banks. Uh, it has gone down quite a bit. I think there was flooding here in Bridge North, uh, as I say, a few days ago. And over there is, uh, I think that's called High Cliff. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, a bit of a rock face right there. Yeah, so uh, an interesting old town. Bridge North, no toys about it. I'll just go down Friars Street. I presume this leads reads down to the river. More interesting old houses. These roads weren't uh, designed for uh, modern motor traffic. Okay, I'll go down these steps. High town up there. Uh, that's Bishop Percy's uh, house, some historic historical segment, uh, significance to it. That's the cartway, going, I'll go up there back up, back to the car park. Uh, uh, not, not, well, not too long now. There's the River Severn in flood. I'll just go up to the bridge, just round here. There's an example there of uh, the caves, uh, the caves on the uh, Redstone hillside, at uh, the Red, uh, yeah, red uh, sandstone hillside, and people used to live in there or stored. They used them as small warehouses, maybe at one time. Bridge there, yeah, the old bridge. Now all this was flooded uh, just a few days ago, but the uh, the river has uh, Rid Ridley. I think they're the oldest firm of seed, seedmen in Great Britain. Ridley. Ridley. There's some more of those sandstone uh, cliffs. Yeah. 97. the swan, swans, uh, all the property of uh, Her Majesty. Uh, the, swan, the, the, the British swan, I think. Uh, okay, there's the uh, light town again up there. Ridley Seeds. And it's over, the, over that side. High town, of course, uh, up there. You can see uh, how high the seven is. Oh, there's, most of the water comes down from Wales, where there's been high rainfall. But yeah, nice. The sun came out. That says that's a 16th century house. It might be the oldest house in Bridgenorth. Bridge End Cottage. But I'll see if I'm going to get a cup of tea in... Uh, was it Bishop... Uh, Bishop Percy's uh, tea room. Uh, in that half-timbered building there. And then I'll go back to the car. Here's the inside of the tea room, 1580. Huh. 
Uh, yeah, but uh, unfortunately they're just closing. They're, they've got a party coming up and uh, they're clean, doing a clean. I don't know if it's a deep clean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, mind your head. Back on the cartway, uh, which uh, was well, the way the carts went back before the days of the motor car, and uh, climb back up to High Town. Okay, this way to High Town. <laughs> <laughs> 